So in this lesson, we will have a look at the reasons why we should uh, conserve and protect the rainforest. And we'll also specifically look at oil, um, the damage to rainforest caused by the exploitation of oil. For that, we're going to use Ecuador as a case study and by the production of palm oil. For that, we're going to look at Papua New Guinea and uh, Indonesia. Okay, so one of the things that we need to have a think about is um, why should we protect the rainforest in the first place? Because at the end of the day, everybody needs oil, everybody needs to make money, and there's nothing wrong with uh, development if you think about it in itself. Have a look at this picture. Here's an example of the sort of damage that is caused by uh, the exploitation of oil. This is actually in Ecuador, and you can see this chap here um, with a yellow hat is trying to prevent this polluted water from uh, getting out into the environment. So there's lots of things going on there, and do remember that as well as a natural environment needing to protect the wildlife, these are people's homes as well. People do live there. We'll be watching some videos during these lessons and you'll be hearing from people. Um, it is their home and they rely on this environment for their water, for their food, for their employment, for their total livelihood as well. So you've got um, wildlife habitat and people's habitat as well. Going to a more global level, do remember that rainforests are very important in controlling global warming. And we're going to have a look at how chopping down the rainforest causes global warming um, by burning the trees, releasing carbon dioxide into the air. And then also if you chop down the trees, they are no longer growing, so they can't absorb any more carbon dioxide in the air. But something that people do forget about or don't know about is that when you cut the trees down, um, and start disturbing the soil, the carbon dioxide inside the soil and the methane inside the soil is also released into the atmosphere. So that's an additional impact. We start doing that globally. sorry, increasingly bad weather, and you can also talk there about um, decreased rainfall around the world and rising sea levels. Um, rainforests do generate a lot of rainfall um, through uh, transpiration. That transpiration, that's the sweating of water from uh, the leaves of plants, if you like to think about it that way. Um, another thing is that um, if you cut down the trees, uh, you are going to have less rainfall. So you can't cut down a large area of trees in the rainforest and expect the rest of the rainforest to be completely uh, free from effects. You might also look to talk about ecosystem services. Um, the rainforest can make the air clean, they can make the water clean, they can hold the soil together, as well as providing us with useful crops, products and medicines as well. Okay, there are some videos here for you uh, to watch. Do have a look at um, this video here, here in particular, which talks about um, the oil spill. When you watch that video um, on the oil spill, which I'd really encourage you to do, it's this video here. Um, they'll be talking about the oil spill in Ecuador. That was from Texaco, which for some strange reason has changed it since that disaster has changed its name from Texaco to Chevron. Um, that Between 1970 and 1990 in the Oriente um, region of Ecuador. Um, do you remember that the guy in the video is talking about um, really it being their home, their environment where they live, um, but also about medicine, food, plants, fish, really it's the supermarket of the people as well as the environment. Um, some specifics in there, 18 billion gallons of wastewater. Um, as we will discuss in the lesson, it's not just the oil spills, it's not just the destruction of the environment that you have when you start when you start um, building your oils, oil wells. Also, there's a lot of wastewater. And um, we'll go back to this chap here in the yellow hat. Actually, most of that is not from an oil spill. Most of that is from wastewater that the oil industry does, does generate. Um, 18 billion gallons of wastewater, 4.5 million gallons of uh, spilt oil as well from that case study. Um, this affects the drinking water of 30,000 people. 
So going on to the question, and the question will say fragile environment. It won't say a rainforest. It will say a fragile environment. A fragile environment is an environment that is easily damaged. And in our case, it is the rainforest. Um, here, resource exploitation, you're going to talk about oil in Ecuador and palm oil in, in, in Indonesia. Okay, It does say effects on the environment. You can talk about some of the effects on people, but it should be principally about the environment. Of course, people will be affected by the env environmental um, impacts. Okay need to be clear about the wording there, the exploitation causes environmental damage by um, and we're going to look at that in more detail, excuse me, you're going to look at that in more detail you need some specifics in there, names and numbers uh, there we go for example 4.3 million gallons of spilt oil um, as we said before 18 billion gallons of wastewater as well um, I struggle to find some of the benefits, but if you do find some benefits um, of the exploitation, um, they'll accept those as well. Um, maybe the company did invest some money elsewhere in national parks and conservation, but I haven't actually found any evidence of that. Okay, moving on to palm oil, um, there are some videos for you to watch. This Greenpeace video here uh, is very, very good. That's a shorter of the two videos. I will talk about that briefly. There's also this longer video here from um, Al Jazeera, 101 East. That's 22 minutes long. Don't watch it all the way through um, unless you really want to. Um, this video, the Greenpeace video by itself, is just, uh, just enough. And when you watch that video, um, they will be talking about the uh, region of Indonesia, um, that is Riau, that is spelled R-I-A-L. Um, you will see that here, again, rainforest, you can see that it's a fragile environment. You'll see that all the trees are chopped down and replaced what we call a monoculture, that's a single type of crop. You've got no biodiversity there, you've only got one type of tree, and that tree is absolutely no good for the uh, local wildlife as well. Um, as well as cutting down all the trees, and they will talk about the, all the natural trees they'll talk about clear cuts that's where you chop everything down and replace it with the um, palm oil um, trees here they'll also talk about just disturbing that soil as we said before disturbing that soil releases methane and carbon dioxide into the air so that contributes to global warming you also need lots of pesticides and fertilizers to keep these trees growing properly and that creates runoff and toxic runoff and that's going to get into the soil and it's going to pollute the soil and it's going to pollute the air and it's going to pollute the water and there'll be a knock-on effect there on the local fish which people um, will eat as well. I remember people use this for drinking water as well. Um, the palm Oil trees themselves don't hold the soil together very well, so you're going to get the soil being washed out. In the video, they all talk about the rivers going red. That's because of the soil being washed out into the rivers. Also, you've got the roads and the building and the infrastructure and the extra people coming into the rainforest as well. That's going to have an effect. It's not just chopping down the trees as, as well. Okay, He will talk about Indonesia and he will talk about Papua New Guinea as uh, effects. Okay, so Bart, you need to make some notes. Remember, you need to be as specific as you possibly can. Um, and you're going to draft an answer ex for this question here. Um, explain how oil exploration and oil palm production ch damages fragile environments. Support answers with data and case studies. When you come to your real exam, it will just say, explain how fragile environments explain how fragile environments can be damaged by resource exploitation. Our resource exploitation are for the um, oil in Ecuador, as we said before, and the palm oil in Indonesia. Okay, um, towards the end of this unit, um, I'm going to need to see that you've got some organized notes on this in the next couple of lessons and that you're confident with, with the content. Any questions, um, uh, we can deal with those in the lesson. Okay, I look forward to seeing your notes and sharing your ideas on the oil uh, production in Ecuador and oil palm in Indonesia and Papua New Guinea. Okay.